Hello everyone and a very warm welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today I am coming at you with a winter outfit ideas video. Um, every now and again, I like to pop one of these in. Basically a roundup of some of my favorite looks. These are daytime looks, slightly more casual looks, but kind of crossing the boundary between smart casual. Some will be a little bit smarter than others, but they're essentially easy daytime looks that you can recreate in your wardrobe. Um, as always, I don't expect you to have every single one of these pieces that would be silly but um the idea of the video is to get inspiration for those pieces that you already own so um without further ado let's get into outfit number one i think we've got 11 in total okay so my first look is based around winter whites um so i've gone for these trousers these are like a kind of very soft um like a stretchy cottony jean fabric that doesn't make any sense at all but they're really comfortable and i personally love wearing white in the winter season so i've paired these with a sweatshirt and then this amazing coat from source unknown store this is so cozy it's so easy to throw on over everything and it instantly makes your outfit feel very warm and winter appropriate so i pop that on and then these veiler sunglasses and then my trainers to finish off what I love about this is all the cozy and casual elements in the outfit. Everything here is very, very casual. The color palette actually helps to make it feel more formal, elevates it and um, just makes it feel a little bit more fashion forward because you could do this exact outfit in all different shades and I think it would feel a lot more casual. Um, so doing it in the head to toe white with the pop of tan really just kind of changes the feel of the actual clothes themselves. And then I wanted to show a different way to do this base layer. So I've got the same on underneath and this time I'm going for a smarter camel coat. Again, just playing around with the elements of the pieces and smarter pieces with more casual pieces. So I've gone for this smarter coat from Sana New York, but the outfit still feels as casual as before because I've teamed it with this very oversized cozy scarf and a cap. A cap or a beanie I think is instantly a way to dress down your look. So if you feel like your outfit's maybe a little bit too polished, just think about what you can add to it to dress it down a bit and add that element of contrast. So you could do something like an oversized scarf, a cap or a beanie um, or pair a couple of them together just to dress it down. So we've got the balance of the smarter coat with the more casual pieces. And then next I wanted to do another tonal look. I really didn't want to do a video that focused all on darker pieces. So I've gone for these trousers. I think these are from Marsala, London. I'll double check and link them below if they're still around. If not, something similar will be linked. And then this simple knit, I think this one's from Marquette with this coat over the top from Marsala. And again, just these casual pieces teamed together feel a little bit smarter because of the color palette and that tonal look. And then I finished off with my Isabel Morant boots and then these sunglasses from Vela. And I think one tip um, I would suggest that you do if you're looking to spice up your existing wardrobe and not really buy any new clothes is to maybe think about how you could buy some accessories and sunglasses to really change around your looks. So for example, I think these Vela sunglasses really alter the look because they fit in with that tonal element. So maybe you have all black sunglasses. It might be quite nice to add in a lighter shade to mix things up and go with your lighter outfits and really play around with that tonal dressing. Next, we've got these Zara snake trousers, which I have had for years and years. I've had had them, I'm pretty sure I had them during uni, if not just after. So that's six years ago, something like that. Anyway, I've had them for years um, and I've just kept them in my wardrobe. I don't wear them all the time. Um, and sometimes I gravitate towards them more than others, but I love the neutral style of these. The straight leg, I think, is one of my favorites and it's quite timeless too, which, which is why I think I've kept hold of these for so long. It's the shape of them, the color palette, um, and the fact that they're a little bit different as well and they can add some interest to um, both summer and winter outfits. They look really nice in summer with a white blouse pair of heels or some loafers, um, sandals, um, but then in winter, dress like this. So I've got my gray coat with a gray beanie from Under the Stories, and then just finished off with a knit and some trainers. So actually a pair of trousers like this might be really useful in your wardrobe. Again, just to spice up some of your basics. Next, sticking with the smart casual element, I've got these wide leg black trousers on here. 
Um, and then I've just paired these with my very oversized faux fur coat, nice and cozy. And again, it's playing around with those elements. So this big cozy coat with the smarter style of trousers. And then again, a knit, a beanie to dress it down, pair of trainers, you could go with boots if you wanted to. And um, there's lots of different ways you can kind of do this look, but I think it's all about combining those cozy winter pieces with something a little bit more structured and tailored like the trousers to just give it some contrast and interest um, and make it not look too head to toe one style. So I did want to do another outfit with the black trousers. I find black wide legs are so useful at this time of year. So I've gone for a shorter coat this time. This one is from Cezanne last year. And um, I think the shorter one just gives it, again, a bit of something different, but it still feels quite casual against the um, smarter trousers because of the shearling. It is quite a casual coat and then dressed down again with the trainers. So back to the faux fur coat, and this time I decided to pair it with some very relaxed, slouchy, very soft, comfortable jeans. Again, playing with those elements. So we've got the jeans, the fine knit, and then a more structured bag, um, and then some smarter boots as well. So again, thinking about those small elements, it doesn't have to be your entire outfit. It could be through your boots, it could be through your bag, accessories, belts, um, to add some interest to the look, but also to give it some structure um, and to give it a bit of smartness too against some more casual pieces. I personally don't ever dress like really, really casually unless I'm just around the house. If I'm going out, I always like to include one, at least one smarter element, whether that's shoes, bag, pair of trousers. So just sticking with the same base layer, again, I've tried to go for the shorter coat option to show how these basics can actually work with lots of different styles of jackets, coats. Um, it's all about those core essential base layers um, to create lots of different looks. So this coat is from Source Unknown Store. I've just paired it with some trainers again, um, but the colors work really nicely too. This feels very casual, but I think because of the nature of the jacket being a bit more of a trend piece, it just feels a little bit more pulled together. So these stirrup leggings have been very well worn since I got them. And these ones are from Adenola. I'm not sure if they're still available at the minute, um, but I'll try and link those or something similar. But you don't have to go for stirrup leggings if you don't want to. I just feel like they work nicely against the trainers. You could go for a slim split hem trouser. Um, just to keep it casual though, I've gone for this zip up top from Varley. So this is a bit more of an athleisure look. And then again, to smarten it up, just adding that one element of structure, I've gone for this tailored coat from Marcella London. Um, and I just feel like it kind of spices it up a little bit and gives it something, um, you know, a little bit more tailored. I personally love to do this kind of casual base look and then smarten it up with a coat or in the spring, you could do it with a blazer or a trench coat even, um, but I think it really really makes a nice combination. And also you could be wearing this around the house and then just throw the coat on and you're good to go out. So I'm personally loving these new brown suede boots in my wardrobe um, and I just feel like they give something a little bit different to the usual black. There's nothing wrong with black boots. I wear mine all the time, but it's just nice to have a bit of variation. I think I'll be wearing these for years to come. Um, and I've just paired them with these wider leg, slouchier style of light denim. Again, thinking about different color palettes for my wardrobe, not just darker color palettes, and how you can mix new shades in together and lighter shades in together. So I put the camel with the denim, which I think is a really nice all year round combination, whether it's summer or winter. So I've teamed these two colors together. The cream again, just gives it a lift. Finished off with my Gucci crossbody to keep it casual, but this feels like a very me outfit. It's not too over the top or too done, but it's also got that casual element. And then finally, finishing off kind of with what I've got on now, I've got the same jeans on. These are from Whistles. These are kind of barrel leg style jeans. And um, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these, not just in the winter, but also going into spring too. I think they'll look really nice with some ballet flats, um, some loafers, some clogs, that kind of thing. So I've got them on here with these loafers. I love a loafer and sock combination. 
Um, it just feels smart, casual again with the denim, dresses it down a little bit. Um, loafers don't just have to be smart looking. I love them uh, worn more casually. And I always find that I feel like something is inherently smarter looking. I always like to pair it with something a lot more casual. So I've just gone for this combination with this long black coat, do your bag, and then finish off with my bow. I am obsessed with this Jennifer Burr bow. Um, and I just think it's nice to add in, um, again, something, an element of surprise in the outfit. So you might I think that bow is maybe an evening bow but I just love the contrast with the casual sorry the doorbell went then <laughs> I had to brush off um but I think I was talking about the bow anyway um and just saying that I like to have something that's maybe a bit of an evening piece or an unexpected piece in with the more casual look um with the jeans so that's all the outfits I hope you like them um I'd really like to know your favorites in the comments below. If you like these outfit inspiration ideas, do let me know and I can keep them coming. If there's anything more specific you want to see from them, again, let me know. Don't forget, subscribe um, whilst you're still here. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next YouTube video. Bye.